I'm off to get my hair done. And the girls are in bed. I'm not in bed. Sorry, you're on bed. Yes. Very, very I'm different. Right. I'm in bag on bed. Love you. Love you. Bye, girls. I don't think the lighting's very good in here, so you can't really see. But we added some extensions. She's long again, baby. And hopefully that'll protect my little baby hairs that are not doing so well. I'll show you it better probably tomorrow when I can get in better lighting and style it because they're just like in and it's just blow dried straight. All right, I am now heading to pick up dinner for me and Taryn and then gonna head home and probably eat that and watch maths. So if you know, you know. I forgot to give y'all a hair reveal yesterday, so. Here she is. You're all gonna say it doesn't look any different because that's what you say every time I get my hair done. However, we lighten the front a little bit. I didn't want to do too much lightning because as I said, my hair is struggling. Styled it today with my Dyson. I'm not supposed to shampoo it for 48 hours. Of course, for the first time in so long, I actually worked out this morning. I went boxing, so I was dripping in sweat. I do not understand when people work out and then they just like look great. My hair is like dripping after, I'm so sweaty. I just kind of like let it dry and then did some dry shampoo, showered with my hair up and then styled it. But I have to travel all day tomorrow to go home. So we'll see what it looks like by the time I'm home. I leave at 7.30 in the morning tomorrow. My flight takes off at 7.30. So we gotta leave at like, I don't know, six. So, Got a lot to do tonight, but I don't want to do any of it. So we're gonna go procrastinate. I kind of feel like Frank knows something's up. Oh, Ricky. <laughs> look at those eyes. How can you not be obsessed with this guy? And look at that happy girl. Cute boy, happy girl. I like bleeding on my head at night. <laughs> she picked at your face, it was bleeding last night. Oh, I must have done it in the night. <laughs> I woke up, my head's all crusty. <laughs> <laughs> On the way to the airport, off to get Big San her hip surgery. Big San? <laughs> she she can't look like that. She's gonna be great, and then she's gonna be freaking tearing around town. Oh, you all thought she was dancing like crazy at our <laughs> wedding before? You wait. You just wait to see this lady's moves. Big Sandy <laughs> D is gonna be flying around Pittsburgh so fast. Marathon run up. <laughs> you're not even gonna see her. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna, you're gonna feel the air go by. Exactly. <laughs> we have made it to Pittsburgh. We are standing in my childhood home. I just love being here. It's like my little comfort place. My mom is getting hip surgery, which is exciting, but a little nerve wracking. So please send good vibes out there for her. But I came out early because we wanted time to hang out and vibe and have fun before she's just recovering. So today we've been shopping and getting lunch and now we are going to lay by the pool. So I'm gonna get ready. I have a couple outfit options I need to pick. I'm actually partnering with Nordstrom for this, which I'm so excited because if you guys don't know, I used to work at Nordstrom when I was in college and it was maybe my favorite job ever actually. They actually have a new campaign right now called the Closer To You Project, which it just basically encompasses what Nordstrom's always stood for. Their whole goal is to just conveniently bring quality products to their customers. And I really feel like they achieve that. They go above and beyond in everything they do. You can order stuff, you can have a stylist, they do alterations. I'm such a simp for Nordstrom. I'm such a big fan. And this was on my like dream board list to work with them. So I'm so stoked, as you could tell. So let's get dressed and put a little outfit from Nordstrom. So I know I'm gonna start with this little Bellabong bikini. It is so cute. It's kind of like a terry cloth material. So really comfy, really cute. But I have two directions I can go in. I can either A, wear these like chambray pants, which are so cute, just kind of flowy. And then I also have this little button down I thought would be cute just to like throw over the bikini, either with the pants or not. I just love a big button down over a bikini. I feel like that's kind of all I ever wear as a cover up. Flowy pants, flowy top. I feel like it always looks chic but it's still comfy. Or I have these striped pants, kind of similar vibe. I think it could like break up the white. And then for accessories, I have these little glasses that I've been wearing every day. I love this shape. You guys know that I am very picky with glasses on me. I don't tend to like them, but I really love the shape on me. And I got these cute little platform sandals, which both of these will go with either outfit, so we're good there. Okay, let's try on outfit number one. First up, the kind of chambray, bluey, flowy pants with the flowy top. This is so cute. I never wear color, which I know I need to be better at, and I'm trying to be, but 
I just never do it. But I really like how subtle the colors in this are. And then like these are almost like an off-white bluey tone. So it's not too much color for me. This is so cute, but it's actually incredibly hot today and so humid. So I just think that long sleeves are probably not going to be it. Or I could do no pants and just the top. Let's try on outfit number two. Oh my gosh, the sandals make me so tall. I'm out of frame now, but I think this is the vibe for today. The shoes are so cute. I love this. This is way better for how hot it is today. Okay, that is the completed look for today. I'm gonna go have a pull day with my mom and you can shop all of these pieces from Nordstrom. I will link them all in the description box below. I don't know if I believe in any of the random makeup trends, the clean girl aesthetic, the latte look. There's now like white wine and red wine aesthetic. You know, just do your makeup how you wanna do your makeup. But it did inspire me to do a little more eyeshadow recently than I normally do. I do kind of the same thing every day. I use like a taupey color and I just brush it on my eyelid and that's it. And then I do my little winged liner. But I've been doing this new look inspired by the latte makeup trend. And I'm kind of just like smudging browns and sparkly stuff on and around my eye. I don't do any liner. Well, kind of, I don't know. I just filmed it. I will post it on my Instagram as a little reel or maybe TikTok. So I'll link that below if you wanna see how to get this look. Also, um, I have to get married again because I got married with my hair brown and I look better blonde. It's just the reality of life. So Taryn, buckle up baby, we need to have another wedding. <laughs> All right y'all, well I am just hanging out at my parents' house alone for the morning while my mom and dad are at work. My mom should be home this afternoon though. Um, so I'm just gonna have a little boring morning alone, working, editing. So I'm gonna end this vlog here. Please send good vibes for my mom and her surgery. It's tomorrow. Ugh, I'm so nervous. I feel like you just hit an age where you kind of become the parent and you worry about your parents all the time and they feel like your children. But yeah, I'll keep y'all updated on how that goes. Please send good, good vibes. <gasps> Almost just walked into a spider web. I gotta go, bye. <laughs>